Mario. Hello, everybody. This is your one only Bull Lava Series 77, and in today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at something really, really cool for MSP. So, yeah, guys, let's just get started straight up in this video. So, guys, in today's video, as you guys know, you guys already know we're going to be taking a look at another awesome banger shader for you guys in today's video. So, guys, today's shaders actually goes by the name of SVR Shaders. And if you guys have not seen the previously reviewed this on my channel, it's been actually quite a while ago since I last reviewed this. And I'm not even sure if I actually made a video or if I just put it in a top shader video. But, yeah, guys, in today's Today's video we're going to be taking a look at the svr shaders and actually guys like i said this is a new version of the svr shaders this is actually a new update of the svr shaders so it's like i said it's been a long time since i last taken a look at the svr shaders so this is going to look a lot different from what we have previously seen in the svr shaders so yeah guys let's just get started straight up in the video so guys before we do start this video let's see if we can hit an amazing like goal of 69 likes on this video guys if we can hit 69 likes on this video that honestly means the world to me so let's definitely try and smash that like button guys also guys if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't even subscribed come on man what are you doing with your life you gotta subscribe to the channel for some epic amazing banger content guys i promise you guys will not regret it whatsoever with that being said without further ado let's just get started straight up in the video all right so you guys can see in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the svr shaders guys you guys already know it and you guys can see straight off the bat we are already loaded with the svr shaders on our device now guys i am using a google pixel 3 so it is going to obviously be laggy and i'm actually on a different world in today's video as you guys know i usually have a typically i typically tend to have one world for you know reviewing shaders that's just been a recent thing uh, usually i'd you know do it on like different worlds but today or at least since 2020 i've just been you know sticking with the same world and that's been a pretty good reliable world for me this one is also a good world but th i haven't been using it the reason is is because i'm actually using application as my storage source I don't, I don't remember entirely why i did it but i did change it usually it's external i don't know you it's not necessary information yeah man let's just get started straight up with this video so guys you guys can see straight off the bat uh, everything is looking nice overall everything in this i can definitely say one thing for sure is this shader looks a lot better than it has previously looked in the older version of the svr shader and i think it was 0.4 or something like that of the svr shaders that i last took a look of uh, the last time i taken a look at it and don't get me wrong the last version was good as well but it's i mean then again it wasn't like the greatest or anything like that but this one has been gotten a lot of more upgrades in this shooter you guys can see straight off the bat the first thing we do notice is the sky is actually changing you guys can see the sky actually looks somewhat nice and actually surprisingly considering this we also do have a realistic water in the shader too which is something that has been recently implemented in this newest version of the svr shaders that's something i really do like but yeah the, the this the shader has a sky and a water and it's still not too too light so that's something i really like about this shader as you guys know most shaders for low-end devices don't tend to run the best and even with like i don't know most shaders with uh realistic water and s realistic skies tend to not work best on low-end devices but this one seems to be running pretty good i mean then again i am using a medium end device but those also as well don't work really well on medium devices especially with the new 1.16 update or the old 1.16 update so you guys can see this is how it looks pretty pretty cool stuff it is i mean don't get me wrong i am still getting a bit of lag i think i have my render distance set to 12 chunks or maybe eight chunks but yeah somewhere around that range and i think six is my lowest so yeah it, it could definitely be running a bit better but it trust me guys it's not that laggy um whenever i do record the video it tends to be more it it tends to be more laggy just because i am using more uh, i'm using my phone's processor so that's why it's doing that but other than that i mean it shouldn't lag when you're not recording so yeah you guys shouldn't have an issue with that you will notice that um you know some there you will notice that oh no guys i don't know i'm losing trying to thought i keep like paying attention to my commentary sorry guys if i if my commentary is a little bit rusty in today's video i don't really know how to talk but yeah i'm trying to come off as natural but also like not too like unprofessional so yeah guys you guys can see this is how the shitter does look now there's i think i did take a look at some I, t I took a look at how the 
like the weather and stuff looked in the shader so you guys can see whenever I do set the time to sunset you guys can see the sunset looks really nice it's kind of what you would typically expect in a shader but it does look nice don't get me wrong and we do have a, like, a nice little orange background so you know obviously I do like that and I am kind of digging it it's not the best sunset let's be honest but it still looks pretty good if I do this myself and so we'll just wait for that and then you guys will see uh, whenever you do set the time tonight you will actually see that uh, you will see that the uh, the sky is actually kind of changed a little bit. You guys can see, I don't know, it looks kind of, it, it definitely doesn't look like a typical nighttime what you would see in shaders. It almost reminds me of having like an uh, Aurora Borealis kind of. I know a lot of you guys are like, this guy does not know what he's talking about. Like y'all are probably just so confused of what I'm trying to reference this to. But yeah, guys, I'm it kind of reminds me of that even though we don't technically see it but yeah i just i just like that kind of like dark mysterious look to where it's not like just completely blacked out or just like a, a saturated like purple or anything like that <laughs> like what you would see in most shaders this does have its, its own unique look and it actually reminds me of the dspe shaders the low end variant of the dspe shaders along with the cold variant of the high end dspe shaders and i don't entirely know if this was also uh, the Aurora Borealis, or at least this mysterious looking sky was in the Ultra version of the DSPE version 11.0, but other than that, you guys can see it still looks pretty cool, and it kind of reminds me of DSPE, mainly the sky in particular, and the water is also, um, I don't know, the water isn't the greatest, in all honesty, I know, I know I've know, i been criticizing this shitter a lot, but yeah, the water is good, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I'm just so like stuck on the water from TSPE shaders and freshwater shaders those kinds of shaders the waters on those were the absolute best and most shaders recently and at least in 2021 haven't been up to par with that at least in my opinion even the tspe 4.0 water was really amazing but you know this one still looks pretty nice and i know a lot of these recent shaders haven't been having realistic water they've just been having stale water so or at least plain water but yeah i i, I know what you guys i i feel y'all's pain trust me when when we don't see enough good shaders with uh, like realistic water but this one does have that realistic water which is something I do like about this shader obviously it's not the best and also you will notice it's not like waving up and down but whenever you do go underwater you do get that nausea effect that nice little nausea effect that you typically get on the minecraft pc slash java edition shaders so pretty pretty cool stuff on that so going back to the weather if you do set the time or if you set the weather to rain you will see uh, if you set it to nighttime while it's raining, you guys can see it looks pretty much the same. Even if you set it to thunderstorm, the same thing. And then whenever you do set the time back to day, you will see that the you know we do we do have like I, I don't know how to explain it, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, in a lot of Minecraft uh, Bedrock Edition shaders, they have this look where they're trying to replicate the wet floors from Minecraft PC slash Java Edition. And you guys can see that it doesn't look necessarily like that, but you can tell tell it has that like distinct look on it. But yeah, this is kind of what you would see in like the TSPE shaders as well. But yeah, it kind of has that look uh, that y that you guys know what I'm talking about whenever it does rain. So I mean, I don't know if you guys are into that personally. I could care less of having that realistic effect, at least in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, considering how laggy it is, and it doesn't look the greatest necessarily in my opinion. So. Yeah, but you do have that if you guys are looking forward to that. So there's that. And then if you do set the weather to thunderstorm, like I said, the same thing happens. Nothing literally happens. Uh, all that happens is lightning, and that's pretty much it. So that, that's, I mean, it's not a big deal. Who wants to play with rain anyways in Minecraft? Let's be honest. All of us tend to typically just try to set the weather back to clear or just go to sleep. But yeah guys that is pretty much it for the shader also guys if you one more thing if you guys go to the nether you guys will see also the nether looks really nice now the nether is a little bit dark a little bit too dark at least in my opinion so you will need to carry a bit of torches here and there and i think that's the same thing with going under the caves i did not check how it looks inside the caves so yeah guys i'm assuming it's also going to be dark in there as well but yeah guys if you guys go in the nether you guys will see that the light whenever you do place down like glowstone or anything like that you will see that it does kind of light up like a large area and the lighting actually reminds me of ASPE slash ASPE slash uh, LSPE shaders uh, with the lighting, but yeah, guys, it it's, it does look really nice. I do like the lighting a lot, actually. 
but yeah unfortunately the nether is really dark i'm not sure what the deal with that is i'm not sure if that's actually a glitch or if that's intended or maybe that just has to do with my render distance i'm assuming it has to do more with my render distance but yeah guys other than that that's pretty much it that's that's all for the nether so yeah guys this is the whole shader review i hope you guys did enjoy this video hope you guys did find this video helpful i do apologize for making this video 10 minutes a little bit of excess commentary i do know i know that's been some recent criticism on my channel so guys i will try to be a little bit better about not doing excess commentary and so that way you guys can enjoy the video and that way i can get to the point and you guys you know don't have to deal with me like talking in circles and yeah but anyways guys that's pretty much it for the video hope you guys did enjoy this video i want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching i'll see you guys later peace out guys see you and bye bye